So it's still the 30th edition of the National Science and Math Quiz happening right here on the KNUST campus. And in some few hours, we'll kickstart the quarterfinal stage of this particular um, tournament. But I have the woman behind it all. She brings the excitement um, to the contest and even the nerve-wracking moments into the contest. I'm talking about Professor Elsie Efa Kaufman. Prof, welcome. Thank you, Bright. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I know, I must say I'm really excited to see you today. We are moving on to the quarterfinal stage mm -hmm. and this is where you come into our competition. I want to understand how has preparations been so far personally for you as you are coming into um, this particular quarterfinal stage? It's been hectic, very, very hectic. You know I have a full-time job, <laughs> so I combine everything I do with that. And uh, I took some time off to get ready. And I've been working very hard to make sure that the questions are up to the standard and that we will have a good competition. So it's, it's a lot of work, but I'm doing it. Mm. Now, um, yesterday, well, yeah, it was yesterday, I saw a tweet by you that you can't wait to meet the big boys and girls. <laughs> I want to know, <laughs> what was the reason behind or why excited? Is it that you are so excited to meet these students? I'm excited every year. Uh, this is the third time I have posted something before joining the team. And uh, so the excitement is, is normal, yes. Because uh, at this stage, everyone you meet is a potential champion. Yeah. And isn't it exciting to meet yeah, champions? Yeah, definitely. It's uh -huh. exciting to meet so the it's champions. it's very exciting. Yes. Okay. I know probably you, you have been following the contest for this year. And interestingly, we had St. Louis SHS or the girls schools performing so well. Um, last year, Wesley girls unfortunately lost their seed and couldn't join um, the seeded schools. But this year they are back and they were also having St. Louis. St. Louis managed um, to kick out Adisadel College. We are talking about the Central Regional Champions. I want to understand, do you feel um, that the girls are on course to win this year's championship? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know my hashtag for this year. In fact, for last year and this year is less talk, more action. I'm not going to make any predictions. The girls have always been capable. I don't know what their issues are, but maybe they've solved some of their problems for this year. I have no idea. Let's see what happens. Okay. Mm. Now, Prof, um, with the performance you've seen so far in the 1 8 stages um, coming to the quarterfinals, what do you make of it? We are having some new entrants, Yulu Krobo and then Wesley Grammar coming in there. Do you think teachers are putting in place measures? To you've make? made an assumption that I'm following. Yeah. I am not following the okay. competition. Um, if I know something, it's because people have insisted on sharing information with me, mostly scores. But I'm not following the contest. I, as I told you, I've been extremely busy. Yeah. Uh -huh. So when I show up, it's a fresh start. I don't have any idea how they even got to where they are. I just know that every school that made it to the nationals had been preparing. And so it's not a surprise that the schools are doing well. <laughs> All right, so now, Prof, let's talk about your journey throughout um, the NSMQ. Um, for 18 years, you've been doing this. Can you share some of the exciting moments you've had or some, some of the moments that has made some impression um, in your life? Uh, every year is exciting, you know. Every year is exciting. The opportunity to meet with these bright young people and to see them <laughs> evolve from where they are to what they are doing now. Uh, some of the contestants I met so many years ago, some are medical doctors now, some are engineers, some decided to go and study my own <laughs> discipline, biomedical yeah. engineering. I'm so, so proud of them. Every time I see them, I, I get excited. When they call me and they tell me about their progress, I'm very excited. These are the things that excite me. Okay. Usually, I don't also remember what happens on stage. <laughs> so, I finish the contest, I'm done. I'm mm. on to the next one. I think okay. it's a coping strat strategy for me, a good one. <laughs> because then I don't carry all kinds of things from contest to contest. So, I yeah. don't usually remember details of contests. I remember the people who keep in touch with me, and then I see the progress they're making, and that's, that's my joy. Oh, okay. Yes. 
because, because you touched on that, I wanted to ask you, um, during these years, do you have any favorite contestants on stage or say an exciting contestant who brought always, you know, those times you had the Paul Azure uh, from Owas, the other students, when you started, do you I have didn't any? didn't meet Paul. Okay, didn't, you didn't meet Paul, no, but during your time, do you have any exceptional students during um, your 18 years of being a quiz mistress? I'm going to have to talk about my mentees, the okay. ones that I have kept in contact with. Okay. Some of those are just amazing young people. Uh, some also have been my students at the University of Ghana. Mm. Um, those ones, I will remember them, and I'm, I'm very happy to be associated with them. And I, I'm very happy I got a chance to be a small part of their lives. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm not going to name... Oh, yes. To mention, <laughs> I can still remember the Egyptians from 2019. <laughs> Michael, the Egyptians. How, how can I forget Michael? My, uh, that, that was exciting, wasn't very, it? Very exciting. <laughs> it's, it's finished. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. It was really exciting. Now, Prof, let's look at um, in terms of preparation. So, during a contest, you know, most of the time you bring the excitement to the contest during the quarterfinal stage, your reactions to some of the answers the student. I think I saw a recent video where you asked a question whether chimpanzees, humans are part of our family. Yes, I actually work harder when the contest is not exciting. Mm. Because um, if it's not only just to come and ask questions and receive answers, it's about educating the public, it's about engaging the public, making sure that people that are watching are enjoying the show. And so uh, when it's a boring contest, I have to work harder by finding interesting things to point out to the crowd. Uh, it's also a, a strategy to um, relax the contestants. Yeah. You know, sometimes it gets very tense very out there. Yeah. So I may slow things down a little bit, make a comment here or there, just to manage the pace. Yes. So it's all part of it's all part of it. <laughs> and I'm also being me. You know, I, I have to enjoy everything I'm doing. It's just it's just me. I have to enjoy Definitely. what I'm doing. I'm enjoying this particular <laughs> conversation right now. Now, Prof, let's um, go into the quarterfinals. Um, with the performance of the, of the ladies coming in, into the quarterfinals, what would you expect from them, or even the schools generally, all of them coming to the quarterfinals? Um, how many ladies? Are ladies coming? school, we have so far Wesley Girls and St. Louis Senior High School okay. participating so in the quarterfinals. Two out of the 27 yes, seeded schools. Yes, two out of the 27 seeded schools. I wish there were more. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Everybody <laughs> wished there were uh, more. Yes, I haven't seen them in competition. As I said, I'm not really following contests. And so I don't know what to expect from them. I will take things as they come. They are contestants just like the young men, right? Yeah, uh -huh. there's, there's going to be no special treatment of the young ladies. But of course, it will be good to see more representation. Mm. Are we to expect some practical questions during the quarterfinal stage? I know normally you would say <laughs> it's during the finals that you bring the practice, but this is the National Science and Magic. Should we expect something like that? Yes, we have practical questions all the time. Uh, maybe I'll try to point some out as we go along. Uh, you know, I don't like con um, the audience just come in to observe, <laughs> make a lot of noise and don't learn anything yeah. out of it. Maybe I should give them a challenge. Everybody should remember one thing before we yes, end. Yes, yes. So I will try and point things out if yeah. I can. Yeah. I remember this one about uh, why is palm oil red? Yes. It goes on social media and people are just wondering why would, why should we know the reason behind it? Because you should be curious yeah. about your life. Every day you are eating gobe <laughs> and the thing is red. Doesn't it occur to you that you should ask mm -hmm. why one day? Mm -hmm. eh? Oh, <laughs> we need to have some curiosity about life. Eh? Uh -huh. okay. So that's why we ask such questions. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Now, Prof, um, in the quarterfinal stage, what, what are we to expect from you? Um, I understand I had a meeting this morning with my consultants and they say the schools are doing extremely well. The Definitely. schools have been very well prepared this year yeah. and so I'm expecting excitement. I don't like it when questions get wasted. Yeah. So I'm expecting high scores. I don't know whether I'm being too... <laughs> There's actually a high score from Ketasco with some 70 points coming to the quarterfinal okay, stage. Okay, let's try and get 100. <laughs> So yeah. the schools out there try and get a hundred. Prof <laughs> says get hundred. I think it will be a record. Or have we had no? We've not had hundred in our quiz. Before. Not in a long while. Yeah, in I a don't long think. while. Yes. yeah, definitely. So yes. the schools Maybe out this there. This is the time. If this is the time. I'm prepared. I'm yes, expecting definitely. really high scores. Okay. Yes. All right. Now, Prof, let's look at um, 
going forward, um, what will be your advice to the students that will be coming to you? I know most of the time when it gets to this particular stage, that's where the intimidation from the other schools, especially um, when you speak with some of the contestants, they say Kumasi has the euphoria, the intimidation and others. What would be your advice to the other schools or even the contestants generally, the stage frights and all? Um, if they got this far, chances are they've been practicing a lot. And so they should just remember that they are prepared, that they have put in their best. They should have confidence in themselves. If possible, tune out that crowd. Because sometimes the contestants are fighting more battles than they need to be fighting. If your battle is with the questions and not with the crowd, that is half of your problem solved. Right? Mm, yeah, uh -huh. definitely. So I will say mental focus, take advantage of the psychologist on, state, on set. Um, mental focus, uh, have that target ahead of you and then execute your plan. Okay. Now, what, what should uh, the fans also expect? We, the enthusiast of NSMQ, what should we expect? A lot more of excitement or what should we expect? Uh, yes, we appreciate our fans very much. We, we really appreciate and we love you all. <laughs> love you. <laughs> However, this is an academic program. And so I want our fans to understand that it's not just about coming to make noise. Please learn something. Show some respect for the academic part of the work. Uh, when it's necessary to keep it low so that they can hear the questions, let's do that. And then let's cheer and enjoy ourselves once the thing is over. Allow us to do what we do best. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, Prof, what will be your last words before we, we, we end this? Um, 30th anniversary is it's a big deal. Yeah, huh? definitely. It's, it's a huge deal. So I'm looking forward to a good competition and I'm looking forward to healthy competition. No winning at all cost no 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 that's not what this is about this is about being ethical and still doing well and so uh, i expect the schools to all do well uh, i wish everybody the very best the contestants i wish you all the very best the fact that you even got to this stage you are already champions but we have to select one yeah. that has to happen um, see this as a stepping stone to bigger and better things. That is what I have to say to all of them. Some few hours will be kick-starting um, the quarter-final stage of the National Science and Math Quiz. And I must tell you that the 2023 National Science and Math Quiz is produced by Primetime Limited and sponsored by the Ghana Education Service in partnership with Goyal PLC and supported by AT Prudential Life Insurance Ghana, Pepsodent, Better Malt, Accra College of Medicine, Academic City University College, Coronation Insurance, Garnet, Cowbell, Bell Aqua, Newmont, GTP, and YFM. The broadcast of the National Science and Math Quiz on Joy News and Joy Prime is sponsored by Vitamilk, NASCO, German Ozone Medical Center, Royal Foam, Jama Soap, Heritage Christian College, Virtual Security Africa, Ace Medical Insurance, Chopbox Technologies, Synthes Tank, DBS, New Crystal Health Services, Invest Corp, Built Financial Technologies, Better Malt, Bright SHS, Kukrantumi, and Family Health University College. So I've been ha having an interaction with Professor Elsie Efa Kaufman. She'll be taking off um, this particular stage, the quarterfinal stage. And so expect from her, expect excitement at this particular stage of the National Science and Math Quiz. My name is Emmanuel Bright. -Kweku. Set reminders and get ready for the academic showdown of the year. The 2023 Great National time. Science and Math Quiz. It's time for the brightest young minds in Ghana to battle it out for academic supremacy. Expect mind-bending equations, heart-pounding moments, and nail-biting suspense as the best schools go head-to-head. -head. Who will emerge the ultimate champions? 
and claim the prestigious trophy. Catch the action on TV, radio and online starting 6th to 24th October 2023. Hello there. Now, with less than 24 hours, we'll kickstart with the quarter finals of the National Science and Maths Quiz. And yes, we are still in that season. I am currently here with Mr. Ajo, who is the Associate Director um, at, um, for Client Services at Primetime. Um, hello, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing good. It's been such a long journey from preliminaries through to 1 8th and now quarter finals. Yes. But Let's talk about the journey so far. Um, how did you see the, the preliminaries moving into the court, um, the 1A stage? All right, thank you for having me. I must say I have been very impressed with the performance of the schools uh, right from prelims up to this moment. Um, naturally, you don't expect um, schools to come up with um, such, um, such kind of performance, I mean, especially based on the fact that people classify other schools as less endowed for that matter. Yeah. And um, I've, had, uh, I've seen a lot of schools a case in point, a school like St. Joseph Seminary, having to uh, write, run it out with uh, St. Thomas Aquinas, and it was a very close fight, and uh, the boys did tremendously well. I mean, we have a school like also like uh, Mount Carmel Girls, who in the contest yesterday had to face off with St. James, uh, James Seminary, and um, it was a close fight, went to the tie. There yeah, are numerous ones, a uh, lot of them out there who we believe that um, they have really, really upped their game, and therefore they give uh, the senior schools or so-called stronger schools uh, run for their money. And so it's been quite impressive um, performances that we've seen a witness uh, this year. Yeah. Now comparing this year's contest with last year's contest, what are some of the differences that you've seen so far with regards to this year's contest? Especially this year feels different because it's 30 years on since yes. the National Science and Mass Peace began. Yes, um, rightly so. Um, just like I was saying earlier on, um, the difference for me with last year is that the performance have been quite impressive it's they've up, are really up up their game yeah. another school um i just forgot to mention was yellow crobo yeah. natural you never expect them to be to make it to this stage but have, then they've been able to make it to the uh, quarterfinal stage i mean facing off with other schools who are stronger in stronger in their own element and so comparing last year and this year i would say the schools have up their game and i'm also very impressed with the girls schools yeah. diamonds come girls st louis Wesley Girls, I mean, and all that, they have performed extremely well at such that we were disappointed with how it came out um, last year. So for this year, the difference has been the performance of the, all the schools, and then of course, the, the, the girls' schools as well too. Yeah. Now, talking about the girls' schools, there's been this conversation on social media, especially on Twitter, that um, there's a likelihood that a girls' school uh, would emerge as um, one of the winners this year or possibly even move to the finale. Uh, what's your take on this with a, a female school um, representing this year's contest? Seriously, from what I've seen so far, I would not be surprised if I should see or if you have a female school, a female school and, and a final. It's happened before 2013, yeah. where we had a Van Seman meeting, Prosec Legon, and then St. Thomas Aquinas. And so for me, if uh, we were able to judge based on the performance that we've seen this year, I would not be surprised if we should see a girl's school um, making to the finals and possibly, possibly even winning. I mean, if for whatever reason they're able to have that composure, master that confidence, and know that look, they are equally good like the boys. I don't be surprised that they can, a girls who can win the trophy this year. There's been a couple of shocks and surprises for some schools, talking about Addis Adel and St. Louis. Looking at that contest, um, how did you see it? Because for the first time, we have Addis Adel going into the originals, and um, how did you see that contest? Yes, I mean, naturally, on paper, as soon as you see that kind of uh, pairing, you conclude a look. Um, at this other college, we're obviously going to be because they are former champions. Yeah, we all didn't expect exactly, that. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. They are former champions and they've always made it to the finals almost consistently. So, for St. Louis to come up with that kind of performance, to 
push them out for them to go into the regions for the first time. Let's say, say so much about them, what the girls are, are, are bringing on board this year. Yeah, this year too, we also had like seven private schools, which we haven't seen any even move into the quarterfinals. But how are you going to assess them? Seven, we had um, Wallas, we had a lot of which I can't even yeah. recall some of them. But um, with some of them coming all the way from north, how did you see their performance, assessing them? Well, I want to believe that naturally, um, being the first time, I mean, one or two, one, um, that's uh, let's say so Sunrise has been has been there for some time, and so they at least they know the rudiments of the game. But for the others, this is the first time. I I, I think that um, <clears throat> should I say it has a baptism of fire, but I want to believe that come next year they would have learned a lot this year, and therefore they will make a stronger case next year. And so I'm not so disappointed. I knew uh, it might not be so easy for them. I mean, starting uh, at this level, but then going to next year where they'll go back to the drawing board prepare themselves solidly or very well. I'm sure they will make a stronger case uh, come next year. Yeah, but do you think they put in efforts? Especially look, looking at some of them, their scores, I think it was quite impressive. Yes. Like some schools like St. Louis, Routin, um, they put in efforts in their contest, looking yes. at the contenders that they were meeting in. The yes, stage. yes. So, I mean, you like I'm saying, you would believe or you think that um, they are a right off, but they are not. I mean, they know what they're going to face. They know what they're getting into and therefore they'll prepare. But I believe that um, it's the first time exposure, you have, you've had a feel of the competition, what goes into it, what you ought to do. And so going back there, they're going to really prepare very well. And next year we should see something different from the private schools, I believe. Talking about next year, are we going to see more addition of um, private schools? Because I believe that we have a lot more of private schools out there than just the um, seven that we added yeah. this year. Yeah, I, I, I very well think so. I'm sure a lot of private schools would now want to get on board. Um, it's just that um, as of the time they were ready to get on board, um, some schools, because um, we needed to have some clearance from the GES before, uh, some schools had um, kind of um, uh, um, dismantled their squad, so to speak. But then, now that they know they have the opportunity to perform at the national stage on the National Science and the Masquerade, I know a lot of schools would, would really come on board uh, come next year. Just heard that. Now, looking at the high scoring school, Keta, it came as a surprise to a lot of people. Looking at the fact that they met KSTS, um, had the, high, uh, the highest scoring points during the preliminary stages, they met Keta yesterday. And it was the, the, the scores were really high. I think so far that's the highest score that we yes, have. Yes, yes. How, how do you see that contest? Well, um, I haven't known Keta for the past couple of years. Um, I wouldn't want to say I was, I was, I was surprised, though, but then KSTS. Yes, and uh, an equally good school. Yeah. But then I spoke to um, the coordinator, especially for Keta, and he told me they are bringing, they are coming with something new, something even stronger or better than the, the 2020, 2021 yeah. squad. And so for him to give that assurance, to give that confirmation that this is what they are bringing about, obviously no one should be surprised that they put out that performance and scored the highest. I mean, at this stage, it's, it's very impressive. You usually will not get. School, school scoring 70 points, I mean, at the one age stage, because as the stages move up, it gets tougher and stronger. Yeah. But for you to make 70 points, it's a big plus for, for them. Yeah. Now, do you think, looking at these points, scores that they have, do you think our current winners that we have, that is Presec Lagon? Because I was, I've been speaking to most of the students, most of the schools, and everyone is looking to unseat, the, the word is unseat, to deactivate Presec. Mm -hmm. Do you think, looking at Keta and Presec, do you think it's, it's, there's a threat there? That you should look out for. Um, science and math is, uh, is for some years now has become very unpredictable. Yeah. Um, it could have a school performing so well, and but um, moving up the ladder onto the next stage, um, the performance might dip because of the opposition that they will face. Presec, obviously, I'm sure they are very much aware of what to what to expect because they know people would want all schools, schools would want to really really kick them off and make sure they don't as they call it, de uh -huh. <laughs> deactivate. Uh -huh. they, um, they have a whole lot of words that they use. Then. Exactly. So I am very sure they are very much on the lookout and knowing know very well that look other schools are out there to make sure they don't achieve whatever the whatever objective set for themselves. So yeah. anything at all can happen. I mean as from where we are getting to quarter finals, any of the school who has been who, are, who, who has been able to make it to quarter final stage has the potential of winning the NSMQ. So it looks like there's going to be shocks, surprises. It's possible, highly possible, highly possible. That's 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 the stuff of um, the NSMQ. So a few hours time, we start with the quarterfinals. What should we expect? Fireworks.
fireworks, fireworks, and fireworks. I mean, um, we are, we've seen a lot of um, stuff this year, like I'm saying, and the performance of the school. So it means that if even from the prelims through the one eighth, and we are seeing this kind of performances, then what of quarterfinals, semifinals, and the finals? It's going to be pure fireworks, pure fireworks, and there'll be shocks. I can I can show you. There'll be shocks, and so. People should look out um, for 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 this uh, contest at the Costa Final Stage. It's going to be hot. It's going to be terrific, and there'll be fireworks all through. Now I know I asked you this earlier, but my co my colleague Brad Kweku had a conversation with Professor Elsie Kaufman, and we asked that this is is there a likelihood? We've already spoken about the girls' school. Now, 30 years on, um, are you even a bit perturbed about the fact that we don't even have any girls' school winning? I want to wrap up with that. No, we are not. We are not because we believe that. Um, I mean, come what to me, one day, one day, one day, a girl's school will win the national you don't think Masters. That one day would be this year. <laughs> well, it, it can be this, this year, year because we have schools already made it to the quarterfinal stage. I yeah. mean, and I, like I said before, if you're able to make it to that stage, you're a potential winner of the NSMQ. So for me, I solidly believe that it could be this year, it could be next year, but anything is possible. So definitely, one day, one day, one day, a girl's school will win the national science and mass quiz. <laughs> that is one day, one day. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Ajo. He is the Associate Director of Client Services at Primetime. And just so you know, the 2023 National Science and Mass Quiz is produced by Primetime Limited and sponsored by Ghana Education Service in partnership with Gall PLC and supported by AT, Prudential Life Insurance Ghana, Pepsodent, Beta Malt, Accra College of Medicine, Academic City, University College, Coronation Insurance, Garnet, Cowbell, Bell Aqua, Newmont, GTP, and YFM. And the broadcast of the National Science and Mass Quiz on Joy News and Joy Prime is supported by Vitamilk, NASCO, German Ozone Medical Center, Royal Foam, Jama Soap, Heritage Christian College, Virtual Security Africa, Ace Medical Insurance, Chopbos Technologies, Synthes Tank, DBS, New Crystal Health Services, Invest Corp. Build Financial Technologies, Beta Malls, Bright SHS Kukren to me, and Family Health University College. And just as I said, we have some few hours to kickstart with the quarterfinals. My name still remains Jacqueline Ansuma Yabua. Thank you for joining us. So give me the dance, let's go, sir. Hello, with everybody for you. I did just shake my love. But it's not going to hell. Your favorite TV game show, Step Up, is back with another amazing season. This time, we are stepping up with Syntex Tank. Step up with Syntex Tank. We'll see contestants answer questions of your choice and win over 6,000 Ghana CDs cash prize weekly and other products from our sponsors. This season